we have Lake Chad as another tourist center in Nigeria. Lake Chad does not serve only Bonu State of Nigeria, but it serves also in neighboring countries like um, Niger, Niger Republic, Cameroon, and Chad. We have Obudu Kato Ranch. Obudu Kato Ranch is in Cross River State and it has temperate weather condition which ensures uh, green vegetation and grazing of cattle all year round. It has natural swimming pool, horse riding, as well as waterfalls. Other um, tourist centers in Nigeria we have the Lekki Conservation Center in Lagos. We have the Tinapa Resort Center in Calabar. We have the Olumo Rock Tourist Center in Ogun State. And we also have the Zuma Rock in Abuja. And we have the Abokrim Waterfalls in Cross River State. There are so many tourist centers that we time may fail us to mention in this particular lecture series. But for the purposes of this, we're just you know telling ourselves this few that you know we can easily mention. Now, why do we you know why is tourism necessary? Do we have any justification for tourism? Of course there are the three main justifications for tourism include leisure, recreation, and education. Now, for leisure, this is a time when people are not working or they are not studying, and they can take out this time to relax and do some kind of things which they enjoy. So, this has justified tourism. And number two justification for tourism is recreation. You know, recreation has to do with any activity done for pleasure. May not really be to get money, to get money, or to to uh, or to make money, but just for pleasure. So this is one justification for tourism, and we also have very important justification for tourism, which is education. When tourists visit these various tourist centers we have just mentioned, you know, they just go there and look at the places and then return. They tend to learn so many things. They learn about the people, the culture of the people, their tradition, their behavior, and they learn about um, various things, activities going on within these sites. So education is another justification for tourism. Now this shows us uh, the Agbaku waterfalls located in Cross River State. Now let's consider some importance of tourism. Tourism, you know, it's foreign exchange any. This is usually a source of government revenue. It also generates employment for some people. Tourism also improves transport facilities because of tourism, the government may be forced or may be compelled to put in place some transport facilities, construction of new roads, you know, to create access to where these tourist sites are, and um, fixing other transport facilities and making everything to be in place enough to accommodate or to take care of the teeming uh, influx of people from other parts of the world who are coming as tourists to, you know, have a look at what we have in a local area. Another importance of tourism is in the increase in commercial activities. In areas where we have tourist centers, there is usually an increase in commercial activities like buying and selling, banking activities, and the like because of the tourists or the tourists who will be coming in. So this will enhance or increase commercial activities within these areas. Another importance is in the provision of infrastructure because there must be adequate infrastructure to, you know, take care of the people who are coming in as tourists to the area so that these people can be properly taken care of. So the government must have to, you know, put in place 
for new infrastructures, maybe to, to support the available ones or to make fresh ones or new ones in order to you know, take care of all the people who will be coming in as tourists. Now there is development of town. Just because there is an attraction in a particular place, this will lead to the development of the town because there will be, you know, building of uh, establishment of um, some hotels, construction of some roads, and uh, fixing of some infrastructure in place so that when these stories come, they may have where to lodge and they will have access route to you know pass through to get to where this attraction is. So all these things lead to development of town. Even installation of electricity may be done in areas that were not initially electrified, all because of um, tourism. So these are some of the importance that we have identified that tourism can you know bring into an area. Now, how about the disadvantages of tourism? One of them is the increase in population. Because of this attraction, people will tend to come into these areas. And when they come in, the population is greatly increased. As a result of great uh, increase in population, there will be pressure on the social amenities or the infrastructures within these areas. And there will be increase as well in crime rates. And also there will be spread of some diseases. Now let's look at the problems of tourism. There's problem of inadequate funding. The government may not be too interested in tourism and may not release too much fund, enough fund, adequate enough to handle all the uh, logistics involved in tourism. There's lack of access routes as a problem. Like I said before, there may be an attraction, a very beautiful site to behold, but if there is no access route, to get into these places, then these places are good as not being there. So that's one problem of tourism in Nigeria. Most places don't have good transportation network. Now there's poor publicity. Some areas have abundant and beautiful sites, but which are not well publicized. And so the world may not know about them. And so they remain as do they do not exist. Another problem is inadequate infrastructure. Now, for a tourist site to be greatly patronized or greatly visited, there must be some infrastructures in place to take care of the tourists when they arrive. There must be one who have good routes, there must be hotels or lodging accommodations and um, other infrastructures. But if these things are not available, uh, it becomes a problem to tourism and security issues. No matter the, the beauty of the site, no matter the attraction of the site, if there is insecurity in that area, people will not want to visit such an area because of the problem of insecurity. So this is a problem or uh, an issue also affecting tourism in Nigeria. Now, how can we solve these problems of tourism in Nigeria? One, we need to you know, have an effective publication or publicity. What we have must be publicly made known so that others who are not close to these areas will be aware and as such, may begin to plan their visits. Now, there, there must be provision of good roads to ensure that these people who are coming in to visit these sites easily gain access to the attraction centers. The government should also increase budgetary provision to take care of the funding of tourism and there should be effective or adequate security in an area to avoid kidnapping of the tourist or killing of the tourist. Another solution to this is uh, the provision of infrastructure like hotels, or lodging accommodation for these ones or these tourists to you know spend the night in lodge when they come in into this town or areas where we have the attractions. So let's try to answer the following questions. Number one says explain the following: one tourists, b tourism, and c we have tourist sites. 
all these words are different. They have their different meaning. Tourist has to do with an individual or a person who is visiting an attraction center, maybe for, for leisure, for education, or for relaxation. Now, whereas tourism is the practice of visiting these attraction centers. Question 2 says, give justifications for tourism. Justification for tourism, when we have leisure, you know, they say, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. So, tourism will provide that platform where after series of months of work or years of working and studying, just take a, a break, go relax somewhere and do some kind of things that, you know, you enjoy. So, that's a one justification for tourism. And another justification for tourism is recreation. Recreational activities also have a way of um, causing people to, you know, live healthily, live longer than normal. Like they have said, maybe due to lack of, you know, training or sorry, uh, lack of um, exercise and what have you, the body becomes stiff and as a result, some.